But be careful, okay? If you die, it defeats the entire purpose. I'm sorry. Thank you.
are you doing here? What happened with the truce? I was told that the Commander-in-Chief, Count Almondine, went to Casedonia to meet Grand Maestro Mose, so... You crossed the battlefield? Are you stupid? You know how dangerous it is? You all did the same thing, didn't you? Calm down, you two. Yes, the people who can stop this war are here in this city. Let's save the arguing and go talk to them. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's what's important. Almondine, what is the meaning of this? Princess Natalia? I presume you received a message from Emperor Peony the Ninth, stating that the news of my death was an error. His Majesty believed that message to be a Malkuth scheme. Indeed. I should have returned to the castle sooner. But you have now witnessed that there is no justification for this war. Stop the fighting at once! Count Almondine, it's me, Luke. You're... alive! I'm the one who caused the destruction of Axeriuth. The blame should be placed on me alone, Luke von Fabre. If this war is one born of misunderstanding, then it must be corrected at once! And the battlefield on the Rubnica Plains could fall and be destroyed just like Axeriuth. Now cease this conflict and open the border immediately! Wait! There is no need to obey the orders of a false princess. How dare you! Even a Grand Maestro cannot speak of me in such a manner! To insult me is to insult the kingdom of Kamlaska Landvaldir! For some time, I have received the sorrowful confessions of a certain pious believer. It appears the daughter that he fathered with an attendant to the Queen was substituted for Her Highness the Princess. That's a lie! No, it's not. Look at her eyes, her hair. From time immemorial, the royal family of Lanvaldir has had red hair and green eyes. But this woman's hair is gold, and the late queen had hair as black as night. I've informed His Majesty about this matter as well. If you go to Batacal, His Majesty will punish you for conspiring against the kingdom. That's impossible! That can't be true! Count, shouldn't you be returning to the battlefield? Uh, um, yes. Hey, wait! The battlefield is going to collapse! What's your point? As long as the war occurs, the score will be fulfilled. Why are those people in Yulia City worrying about a little collapsing land? Grand Maestro Mose, that's horrible! <laughs> it's your brother who's doing the unthinkable. Now, Phone Master Ion, do you still intend to demand a cessation of hostilities? No. I wish to return to Doth for the moment. Ion! Are you serious? The Commandant will make you open the Sephiroth seal so he can destroy the trees! I won't allow that. Having any more of the Outer Lands collapse would be a problem. And if he comes by force? If that happens, then you'll come back to rescue me, Annis. What? Cantor Annis Tatlin? I hereby relieve you of your position as Phone Master Guardian. Wait a minute! Ion, don't do this! Stay with Luke at all times, protect him, and report everything you hear to me. Please take good care of Annis for me! Let us go to Doth. Yes, Phone Master. What does Ion think he's doing? 
Leaving Annis here means he intends to come back. Right now, more importantly... If you're worried about me, I'm fine. We should go to Batacle. The only one who can stop the Kimlaskin army now is Father... His Majesty, the King. Then we'll need to find a way to cross the border. The border runs through this city. There must be a place we can slip through. Luke, don't take your eyes off Natalia. I'm worried about her. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna buy the password? Hey, it's you! Oh my! If it isn't you kids again. I don't believe you guys! First you kidnap Ion, and now you're conning people here? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what can I say? We love money. So do I, but still. Annis. Okay, Darkwings. Just how much are you asking? There's six of you, so... Don't forget me! There's seven of you, so it'll be 7,000 gold. I don't believe this. You idiot! Your big mouth just cost us another thousand gold! Meow! Well, you gonna pay or not? That's too expensive. Yeah, and I don't think there's any reason to go along with this little scam. We're still in Malkuth, right? Colonel, just arrest them! You heard her. Though if you let us through, I suppose I could let you go this time. Yes, well, you see, we only set up shop because people like you up and started a war that's hurting people like us. Innocent civilians, that is. That's true. Let's pay them. That's not like you, Natalia. War or no, the decision to commit a crime comes from one's own lack of moral. Well, yes, but... Then let's call the military police. Wait! We'll let you through, but not a word to anyone else. There are always folks who get stuck on the wrong side of the border. Thanks. <laughs> 